Hello, Mr. Edwin. Good evening. Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome. Hello, teacher. How are you? Fine. Yeah, I'm very happy to have all of you here. Welcome. Hello, good evening. Hello, hello, good evening, Dennis. It's a pleasure to have all of you here, Mr. Mauricio, Mr. Edwin, Hello. Janita. Hello, Mr. Jorge Antonio. Welcome to your class. Did you have the opportunity to work on the exercise that I sent you? My dear students, did you have the chance to do the exercise? Hicieron el ejercicio que les envié? I don't I didn't you say I didn't Thank you. why it was not really complicated but uh, it was a matter of reading putting the correct uh, word into the practice right and uh, it was basically that, complete the exercise with the correct word. And you can do it on the page, right? You can do it straight on the page. You can do it on the exercise. So um, you can work exactly on the page, right? Ahí mismo en la página pueden trabajar. No hay necesidad. Si ustedes lo quieren hacer aparte, perfect, right? If you want to, to work on your notebook, if you want to do it, um, on paper, if you want to print it, that's perfect. Because it helps a lot for you to practice your writing. Okay, <clears throat> well, so if you have the chance to finish it today, you can send it, you can send it to me tomorrow, but the idea is that you work on the exercise, right? That's the, the important thing, that you practice and for sure, if you have the chance to work on more examples, do it. I mean, if you can investigate and look for more examples similar to that one, that's fantastic. Well, so we're going to work today a little bit on the practice that we started yesterday. We are going to review a little bit of uh, simple present forms. And <clears throat> we are also going to work a little bit on quantifiers, right? That's what we are going to do today. And I hope that we're going to have enough time to cover everything. Tomorrow, we're going to check the platform on sections one. And if you have work on section two, we are going to check that as well. So that is going to be for tomorrow, okay? So today, tell me a little bit, how was your day? What did you do? How was your day today? ¿Qué tal les fue ahora? So, so, why? Very nice. It was a very nice day. Okay. My day very easy. Yeah, your day was very easy. Did you go to work? Very busy, busy, ah, busy. busy, busy, busy. <laughs> I said easy. How nice busy, I said. Que chivo, dije yo. <laughs> Rea. <laughs> what? Busy, busy. It was busy. I imagine that your day was busy. 
Y dice, like, it was easy. Y dice, like, ah, qué chévere. How nice, I said. Yeah, but if it was busy, for sure, right? Hey, there's Kaiser saying hello to everybody. Ahí está la, la mascota de Edwin, saludándolos a todos. Okay, so Edwin's day was busy. Janita's day was great. Jorge's day was eh. <laughs> eh. It's like, nah. it's like me. Yeah, I call them the me days, right? You don't really know the feeling, but hay días que los clasifico como me. Es así como. Mm. <laughs> I, I, I finished the day. That's the most important, right? Logré terminar el día, que es lo importante. That's, yeah. that's what, I, what we say. Right? So, let me see. Okay. Here I have. We're going to start today by uh, having a little practice on questions, right? Let me just open uh, my screen here. Let's see. It's not this one. Um, it's here on this one. Let me just download my presentation so we can use it. Okay, so I am going to share a little practice that we're going to start using today. And for this one, we are going to create questions, right? Yesterday, we learned how to make questions in simple present. So today we are going to start with a practice on questions. And here I have a couple of sentences, right? The first sentence that you have there is, I live in the city. I live in the city. How would you make that sentence negative? ¿Cómo haríamos esa negativa? I don't live in the city. I don't live. I don't live. I don't live in the city. What about the question? How would you make it a question? Do you live in the city? Do you? Live in the city. Aha. Good example, right? Estaba esperando ese ejemplo. Live and live. What is the difference? Live is when you transmit on video something. For example, when you are live in TikTok, when you are live in YouTube, when you are live on Instagram, that it's live and vivo. But if you say live is vivir, habitar, right? So that's the difference between live. Si me dicen, estoy en un Facebook live, teacher. Ah, me conecto. But if you say, I live in Santa Ana, it's different, right? In these cases, do you do you live, live in the city? Do you live in the city? That will be the question, right? Do you live in the city? What will be the question for the second one? What will be the question for the second one? The question. Do you have a car? Do you have a car? What would be the question for number three? Do you live in do you live in an apartment? Do you live in an apartment? What about number four in negative? I don't live why my parents. I don't live. I don't live with my parents. With. My parents. With. My parents. 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 Okay. Cada vez que decimos parents, se muere un diccionario, people. Please, ya mis estudiantes antiguos lo saben. No me anden matando diccionario. It's parents. 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 I live with my parents. Ahorita llevamos tres red flags. Live. With e parents, okay, that's a red flag. Click, click, don't do it. Number five in negative. I don't, I don't, I don't work at school. No, no, no. What is the verb? What is the verb of this oración? 
Do. 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 My homework at school. What is the question for that one? The question for number five. Do you do? No. Uh -huh. <laughs> My do you do? Uh, do you do? Do you do? Homework alone. Homework alone. Number five. Number five, question. Do you do? Do you do homework at school? Do you do homework? ¿Y cuál es el pronoun? ¿Cómo cambiamos el pronoun mine? I. Do you do? I. My homework? Vos haces mi tarea. Do you do you your do you do your homework at school? Porque le estamos preguntando a alguien más, right? Do you do your homework at school? And that will be the form of the question, right? Do you do your homework at school? And in this one, we say. Do you do your homework at school? Because you are asking someone else, right? Está preguntando a alguien más. The next one, number six. I do my homework alone. What about the negative form? For number six. My homework alone. I don't do my homework alone. And what about the question? Do you do your homework alone? Excellent alone. job. Do you do your homework alone? Good. Very good job. What about number seven? Question. Question. Do you ride your bike to school? Very good job. Number eight. Question. Do you, do you have, you have sister on? Um, do you have or do you have? Do you have? Do you have sex the red, sex the red flag. Have, have. Okay. Do you have? Do you have sister? Sister. Or do you have a sister? Right. You have the two options. Number nine. Negative. I don't have brothers. Okay, I don't have brothers. Or I don't have a brother. brother. And the last one, number 10, question. Do you, do you work, do you work, work downtown? downtown? Do you work downtown? What is the meaning of downtown? What's the meaning? Exactly like that. Downtown is the center of the city. Now, what we are going to do is that you are going to ask questions to people in the class. I need you to choose a person and choose a question. And you are going to ask the person a question. I am going to choose Janira Isabel. And I will say, Janira Isabel, do you have sisters? Yes. Ayer les enseñé cómo contestar, ¿cómo era? Yes, I do. No, I, do. I don't. Okay, so you say, yes, I do. For the answers, so you say, yes, I do. Or, no, I don't. If you want to give me extra information after the answer, it's perfect. So you say, if you say, yes, I do, you say, I have four sisters, okay? You can give me the extra information after the answer. Después de decirme si o no, me pueden dar extra information, right? Yes, I do. I have four sisters. Or no, I don't. I only have 
brothers. Or you can say, no, I don't. I am an only child. What is the meaning of an only child? Hijo único. Hijo único. Hijo único. Hijo único. Hijo único. El que reina. Sí, soy, sí, soy. <laughs> no, en serio, soy hijo único. Oh, really? Sí, huele. Well. Lo sabí. <laughs> lo sabí. Casi todos los hijos únicos tienen un perfil similar. Ah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. And, and, and it is true, right? Así va a ser el mío algún día. Right? You are very organized, very dedicated, very, very correct. Right. The other ones we learn to survive, right? Los que tenemos hermanos hemos aprendido a lo duro. <laughs> ¿Quién peleó con sus hermanos aquí? A ver, levante la mano. <laughs> y por cosas así sin sentido. ¿verdad? Dame el control. Por una charamuca. Oh, really? <laughs> well, you are the winner then. <laughs> yeah. Por la ¿Por la qué? Amaca. Por la, por, la única, por la única por bicicleta burla. que teníamos, que éramos tres hermanos. Por la bici. <ríe> ok. Yeah, yo creo que lo, el pleito más loco que tuvimos con mi hermano, quizás cuando nos dio el motor por una escoba. Mi mamá le daba premio al que barriera en la casa. <ríe> so, ahorita vean. Bueno, explot explotación. explotación infantil, mamá. <ríe> No, but we, we fought for the for the broom. It was a very crazy thing. The thing is that at the end, nobody did the cleaning. Al final, de tanto que peleamos, nadie limpió y a los tres nos cayó. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's like, I am an only child. You were very blessed, Diego, definitely. So, you can give me extra information at the end of the sentence. So, <clears throat> let's do this again. Janira Isabel. Do you have sisters? Yes, I do. I have two sisters and two brothers. Three sisters and three brothers. A big family. How nice. Okay, <laughs> Janira, ask someone else any question. Escoja a otra persona y otra pregunta. Uh, ¿Puede ser cualquiera de los compañeros? Any, sí. any of them. Ok. El que esté más serio. <risa> El que esté más serio. Ajá, al más serio de todo. Uh, vamos, a, vamos a escoger al que siempre se está riendo. Dennis. Uh -huh. Dennis. <risa> ok, Dennis. Dos funciones gratis, los sabes. No cobro mucho. Ajá. <risa> uh -huh. Okay, Janira, the question. The microphone, sweetie. It's off. Janira, the microphone. No, I don't. <laughs> Come on, Dennis. <laughs> only only Jenny, one. You you're live with your parents? Parents. Parents. Do you live with your parents? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Dennis, another person. Vayan pensando quién le van a preguntar, así lo hacemos más rápido. Uh -huh. And you? Yeah, anybody. Okay. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know question. Uh, you can ask Christian Rodriguez. Lo veo con ganas de contestar. Go ahead. No, Dennis is going to ask you. And then you ask someone else. Christian. <laughs> Perdidos. Eh... Do you work in the factory? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Very good. Okay, Christian, the next person. Okay. Edwin Comayagua. Edwin Comayagua, go ahead. Yes. Um, do you do you have a car? 
Yes, I do. Very good. Edwin, another person. Uh, Wendy Martinez. Okay. Wendy. Wendy Mengiva. <laughs> Go ahead. Wendy Mengiva, perdón. Do you live in Zacate Coluca? Yes, I do. Very good. Wendy, another person. Um, Diego. <clears throat> Diego. Yes. Oh, yeah. Do you like? No, yes, yes. <laughs> Do you live? Do you live? Hey, Wendy, pass the micro. Do you like to cook? Do you like? Like? Do you like to cook? Uh, no, I don't. <laughs> I. I eat. No. What <laughs> area? Me gusta comer. I like to eat. I like to eat, but not like to cook. To <laughs> yes. Okay. Diego, another person. Um, Jorge, ya pasó. No. Ah, Jorge. Hey, no te la desquite. <laughs> um, um, uh, do you like work? Do you like to work? Do you like to work? Mm -hmm. Qué pregunta es. Yes, bueno, I yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Very good. Yes, we love to work. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Se nos cerró el círculo. Luis Parrilla, go ahead. Ask a person. Escoja a alguien. Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay. Norma, sí, está verdad. <laughs> Norma, yes. Yes. Norma, do you have a car? Do you have a car? No, I don't. Okay, Norma, another person. Mm. Uh, Ronald. Okay, Ronald. Very good, Norma. <laughs> Very good, Norma. <laughs> Ronald, do you have a sister? No, I don't. No, I don't. Okay, Ronald, the next no. person. Edwin Gallegos. I imagine. <laughs> Edwin. <laughs> Los Edwin. Edwin, do you live in an apartment? Do you live in an apartment? Yes. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay, okay. okay. Edwin, another person. Uh, let me see. Uh, Yanira, le hicieron ya preguntas. Yanira Isabel. No, go ahead. No. Go, go, go. Ah, Yanira, Yanira. was the first one. Uh, Pero pues, le okay. puede volver a preguntar. También está Katherine. Uh, Dennis. Okay, Dennis. Go ahead. A Dennis ya le preguntaron también. Johnny, Johnny. Johnny Doña. Yes. Ya le preguntaron también. No, no, no. Go with Johnny. No. Okay. Johnny, do you have the brothers? Do you have brothers? Do you have yes, a I do. Brothers? I have four brothers. Four brothers. Okay. Oh. Johnny, another person. Carla Patricia. Carlita, ajá. Huh? Eh, Carla, <clears throat> do you have a pet. Do you have a pet? Good. Yes, wow. I do. I have a dog. I have a dog. Very good. Carla, ask another person. Uh, do you, a uh, king? No sé quién. Ah, Walter Enrique. Walter Enrique. Okay. Ah, Walter. Gualito, do you like pupusas? Do you like pupusas? Yes, I do. Okay, Waltercito, no vemos tu cámara. Walter, ask Victor Manuel. Ah, okay. Do you ride your bike to work? Do you ride your bike to work? 
do you ride your bike to work? ¿Te vas en bicicleta al trabajo? Uh, yes, I do. No, I, I do. No, no, I don't. No, I don't. Very good. Now, Victor, ask. Uh, let me see. Catherine. Catherine is sick. She's very sick. Está enfermita. Está bien enfermita la garganta. Uh, ask me. Go ahead. <laughs> Say teacher. Okay. Uh, do you like listening to music? I love listening to music. I listen to music all the day. Thank you, Victor. Very good job. So, <clears throat> and you can start like that. A good conversation can start like that. Okay. Así pueden empezar una conversación. Imagínense ahorita que me dice, do you like listening to music? Yes, I do. What is your favorite singer? Uh, Adele, hey, me too, blah, blah, blah. And then you can start talking, right? You can start talking. Hey, Dennis loves Adele too. That's pretty awesome. So that's how a conversation is born. Okay, the idea is to break the ice and then you can start talking. Exactly like in Spanish, right? O en español ustedes piensan que es lo que le van a preguntar a la señora de la parada de buses. No? What is the question that you use? ¿Con qué pregunta rompemos el hielo los salvadoreños? ¿Qué va a pasar el bus? <laughs> yeah. Se ha tardado el bus. <laughs> And the classic one, it's very hot, right? Yes, it has been <laughs> very <laughs> hot. Yeah. Vea que, se, vea que se ve que va a llover. Yeah. And I don't have an umbrella. They say, eh. You can start a big conversation about life and experiences. So it is the same in English, right? It is the same in English. You don't have to think too much in a in a conversation to create it, right? Well, I am going to call the attendance and then we are going to do a little activity that I have prepared for all of you. Okay. When you listen to your name, say here or present. Okay. Cristian Eduardo Rodriguez. Cristian Eduardo. On vacation. Eh, eh, eh. On vacation. No, he was here yesterday. Eh, Denis Gerardo. Present. Okay. Diego José. Yeah. Edwin Ernesto. Present. Edwin Mauricio. Present. Johnny Vladimir. Present, teacher. Jorge Antonio. Present, teacher. Karen Lisette. Karen Lisette Blanco. Karen Zeta. She's not here. Eh, Carla Patricia. Carlita is fighting there. Katherine Rosibel. Okay, Katherine is there. She raised her hand. Luis Humberto Parrilla. Present. Norma Yamilet. Present. Ronald Ulises. Present. Víctor Manuel. Presente. Walter Enrique. Presente. Wendy Beatriz. Presente. Yanira Isabel. And that's it. Right? How oh, cool. Well, so let's move on business, right? Let's move on business and we are going to work on today's activities, right? Let me just share back my screen. <clears throat> okay, so we are going to work on the class for today and we're going to start with a quote, right? Who can help me to read it? I need a volunteer to read it. <clears throat> Thank you, Christian. Go ahead. <laughs> Christian is my voluntario, <laughs> seleccionado. Sí. Can you help me to read the quote? Repeat, please. <laughs> Can you help me to read the quote? Help me to read. Read. Ta 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 ta. ta. Leer. Yes. <laughs> help me to read the quote. The quote of the day. This is the quote of the day. Help me to read it. Ayúdame a leerla. Okay. Great thing. Never come from comfort zone. 
Huh. Great things never come from comfort zones. What is the meaning of this? Who can help me with a meaning? What do you understand with this phrase? Eh, grandes cosas nunca vienen de la zona de confortable. O... De la, ajá, de la zona de confort. But what is the meaning? ¿Qué les dice a ustedes? ¿Qué entienden con esta oración? Great things never come from comfort zones. Que si no sale de la rutina va uno, si, eh, no, no logra cosas mejores. Ajá. Si no sale de la rutina, ya, yeah, it's, it's, it's good, it's close. Ajá. Another, another meaning. ¿Qué otra cosa les, les, les nace, les dice? Exactly like that, right? You have to fight for your dreams. Imagine if you haven't taken the decision to be here. Si les dijeron, mira, fíjate que van a haber clases de inglés. Ay, es que el inglés es bien difícil. And you say, okay, let's do it. You went out of your comfort zone. Se salieron de su zona de confort to do great things. And I really congratulate you for that, okay? I am very happy because of that. And my recommendation, as I always say, if you start, finish. Don't say like, ay no, teacher, es que, ay no, mucho, mucho septiembre, no me gusta. No, finish. If you start a project, finish the two years of a study. It is going to be hard, but at the end, you are going to say, hey, thank God I did it, right? Porque allá atrás de usted hay 40, 50 que no se decidieron. And they say, no, no, no. Algún día cuando usted ya vaya adelante en la carrera y vean todos así como, pues mira, ya viste a Diego. Oh, chica, es bien bilingüe ya. Y allá va a ir uno apenas empezando, que se hubiera decidido a la par suya. So, Ojalá que así nos pase a todos. It would be like that because great things never come from comfort zones. If you say like, ay, es que la teacher mandó la tarea, pero muy blanco y negro la página, no me gusta. <laughs> no, do it. Practice. Look for information. Be curious. Because great things never come from comfort zones. The, the English is not going to go to your brain, right? Like, um, <laughs> um, practice. Practice is the only thing that is going to bring you great things. So, Whenever you want to fail, whenever you want to quit, remember this, okay? Cada vez que le den ganas de tirar la toalla. No, acuérdese que eso no se hace. So pick it up and put it on your shoulder because great things never come from comfort zones. So that's something that you will remember. And then later on, allá cuando vayan por avanzado con otra teacher, ahí se van a acordar de mí, okay? And invite me to your graduation, okay? Me invitan a su graduación. Ojalá no me invite a esa pupuseada que van a hacer de graduación. So please. I promise. <clears throat> okay, okay. I will write it down. Lo voy a anotar. <laughs> <laughs> Edwin told me he will invite me to his graduation. Okay. I have it on yes. my agenda. Okay, good. <laughs> so let's let's have a party and on your graduation. Remember that. X, it's a big effort, but it's going to be worth later on. So we're going to do the warm up. We did it with the conversation. We're going to work a little bit on countables and uncountables, much and many. We're going to have a conversation time, some exercises, and we're going to finish today's class. In your job, what are some activities that you do? And you say, I, I make phone calls, I talk to clients, I use Zoom, I make coffee, I prepare invoices, I go on business trips, I write emails, I attend meetings, I photocopy documents, I deal with suppliers, I give presentations, I write letters. What do you do in your job? Do you do any of these activities in your job? Any of these ones? Photocopy documents. I photocopy documents. Good. What else? Just get some of them. You say like, well, 
I talk to clients, I make phone calls, or I... I, I print documents. I print documents, very good. What else? Think about something that you do in your job. I will add some extra here. Or if there is no here, you can tell me one from your job. Si no hay ninguna que se acople a lo suyo, dígame una de su trabajo. So you say, I... I, pre I repair a machine, I clean a machine. Exactly. Uh, uh -huh. I, I move machines. Okay, I move machines. I clean machines and I repair machines. Excellent. What else? Give me other ones. Los demás, ¿qué otras cosas hacen ustedes? I sleep. In your job. Really? <laughs> Ya vemos por qué nos quedamos sin trabajo a veces. No, 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 nada que ver. Ok. Y, y, y Denis, mimido. Ok, no, in your job, in your job. Ok, uh, he works a lot. Let's see, Carlita, what do you do in your job? Give me one activity that you do. Por Diego. I oh. seal the boxes. I seal boxes. Good. I seal boxes. Say you cajas. Good. Sewing brassiers. I sew brassiers. Okay, good. Yes. Underwear. So you say underwear or brass. In English is bra. Right? I sew brass. Okay, that's nice. Okay. Wendy, what do you do? Mm, I order to work. I order the work. The right? work, the work. I Very order good. the work. Excellent. Let me see. Uh, Norma? Mm, I clean machines. I clean machines. Good. Janita? Mm. Only one. I only uh, drink coffee and three. Uh, come on, three times a day. Three times a day. I drink three. coffee three times a day. Well, that's good, right? Those are different activities that you do at work. Okay. We are going to do this one, but we're going to work in couples. Vamos a trabajar en parejas con esto. So please, I need you to get a screenshot of this one. And I'm going to send it to you as well. Sáquenle un screenshot. Ahí lo estoy trabajando en la computadora. And I am going to send it to the group as well. And we are going to work. And we are going to look for all these different nouns that are there. Okay, we're going to look for the nouns on this practice that I have here, okay? And let me make it bigger so I can, okay, here we go. I will send you the complete picture. We're going to work in couples and I need you to work on the picture, right? I need you to work on the picture and find all the different words that I have here, okay? I have around 20, let me see. I have like 25 words, around 25 words, and all of them are here, okay? So I am going to send you to work together and I need you to find the words, okay? I need you to find the words in the word puzzle, okay? So, we are going to be in couples. Van a estar en parejas. So it's going to be easier for you. Okay, in groups of three. Let's go. Go and work. Find the words that I have there in the word puzzle.
you will have four minutes to finish all the different words in the puzzle. Okay, Carlita, Victor Manuel, Edwin. Did you receive my invitation to go to the rooms? Thank you very much. Okay. Edwin Mauricio. Ah, oh, Carlita, me la sacó el... Okay, te voy a enviar a otro. Se me ve el Inter, pero no puedo. No sé con quién me he agrupado. Ahorita. En qué sala. Ahorita te mandé la invitación de nuevo. Ah, ok, gracias. Okay. Me avisas si te digo. Okay, so we're going to go and see how they are doing with this little exercise. No la no las has visto vos. Espera, ahorita estoy empezando a buscar. Vaya, ya se conectó ella. No. Hello, hello. Uh -huh. Ajá. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo la subrayamos? A mí me da un gran manchón cuando la subrayo. ¿En qué la abrió? ¿En WhatsApp? Sí. Sí. Va, haga como que se la va a enviar a alguien. O la puede enviar sí. al grupo. Haga ah, como que la va a enviar al grupo y ahí en el, sí. en el, en el salón lapicito y ahí la pueden marcar. Ajá, pero sí, manchamos la letra ahí, pero quizás ahí lo vamos a dejar. Pues. O ahí solo háganle como una marquita. Quizás el lápiz lo tienen muy grueso. Yo, yo le di lo más delgado, pero ahí sí, siempre agarro otras letras por mis dedos. <risa> <risa> ok. Ups. Bueno, así lo vamos a hacer, tal vez no queda tan mal. Ajá, o identifiquenme ah, dónde están para que no les cueste. Ok. Ok, teacher. Ok, good. I will see no, no, if, if the other no, ones have no, no, box. no, ahorita no. Otra vez el guay. Vaya. Ya te la... Quiero ver, uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Cell phone ya está, box también. Machine, machine. Ya hallaron, la de Machine. Machine. Es la, ajá, Machine. No, es machine, la, machine. digamos, la segunda, ajá, la segunda empezando del lado derecho, digamos. Machine. Ah, cierto, cierto. Ahí está. Empezando el lado derecho. Yo era buena esto, en esto, en escuela, no sé qué me pasa hoy. <risa> <risa> Más que me arden los ojos, vos. Vierta. No la veo. <risa> no, hombre, ya mira. No. Hey, no, 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 people, come on. Le han dado toda la semana. Hey, bicho, Ay, bicho, mira, no, aguanta, 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 mañana no pasa. <risa> ¿Cuál? Dijiste, ¿cuál no? Machine. La segunda, acá del lado ¿Cómo? derecho, hacia abajo. Continue, continue. Ah, yo. H-A-I-R. La, la, la letra que la rodean es la K, la M, la H y la C. Yes. ¿En qué línea está? En la... 
¿Viene horizontal o, o vertical? Ahorita. Está inclinada también. Ajá. Difficult. Mira, <coughs> es. Una tan fácil como box, no la podemos hallar. No, it's the first one. Es que usted ya las halló, teacher, y nosotros no. I, I made it, yo lo hice. Ah, que por eso está bien complicado, teacher, usted. The box no, is on the top, on the top corner. On the top sí. corner. Sí, no, aquí no lo tiene, ¿cuál es? The tiene? top corner. Uh, I don't know. In the top corner. So imagine if this is me, it's like in the top corner. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> de la línea three hacia la derecha vertical para arriba. The Ahí box. está. That was the first one that I put. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, continue, continue. I will go and help another soul. Voy a ir a ayudar a otra almita. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's on the corner. Hair. Hair. No sé cómo se pronuncia. Hair o hair. No sé. Hair. A hair. Hair. Okay, okay. Cabello. Hire is contratar. Ah, okay. Hi. Oh. <coughs> ¿Cuánto tiempo era ya I'm here. <laughs> ¿Cuánto tiempo era teacher? Four minutes. <laughs> but it's over. Estamos pero quemados. pero no es palabra incluida, okay? No me la van a poner. Que es la primera que ven cuando lo abren. ¿Cuál? Cuero. <laughs> De hecho, no, no lo hemos visto. Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> today, today when I was testing this with a friend, he said, bueno. And he's like, no. <laughs> it's on the one, two, three, four, five, on the fifth line. Fifth line. Next to Ria. What? Cuero. <laughs> five. Yeah, in the fifth line. Teacher, este solo una porque le estamos ayudando. Solo una imagen se va a mandar del grupo. ¿verdad? Yeah, it's only one. Ah, okay. Jay, cat. Cat. I found cat. You say, I found cat. I found wow. la cat, teacher. Yeah, hola, teacher. I'm here. <laughs> and, <laughs> do you is. like cats, teacher? I, I love cats and dogs and know. all the, the animals, but not the scorpions. Okay. Hey. Uh, cat is time. It's uh, up on machine. Abajito the machine. The best music. <laughs> sí. Yo aquí encuentro por... Ah, aquí está. Por... 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 Abajo de, de Factory. De de no, abajo, arriba. Factory de, y arriba, arriba de, de Cellphone. Ajá. Ajá. Cabal. Vaya. Vas. Quiero, quiero encontrar paz. Factor. Ahí era otra. Uy, sí. encontré ya. Did you finish? No. No. <laughs> no. ¿Quién me está molestando a Luis? Déjenmelo trabajar. Ya encontré Ayer. Está que se me hizo. <risa> And ya. Hair, hair. Ayer. Está, la... <risa> Está la quinta 
para abajo es lo que está las letras al contrario. Donde está la R. Ah, ya la vi, ya la vi. Okay, it's time to go back. <laughs> Okay, so all the students are coming back from the breakout rooms right now. And let's share the screen. Welcome back. No, muy poquito tiempo. <laughs> People, I gave you eight minutes to finish. Faltan ocho minutos. Tiche. Eso está. Tiche, bien complicado como lo ha hecho. Really? No, it was no, very. No, 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 no. It was very simple, people. No, está, está complicado. Está complicado. <laughs> Le han puesto muchas letras. No, it's for, it's for you to think and to exercise your brain. Okay. Um, you have options to help me. You have options to help me on the screen. You can click on the pencil and if you have one, you can mark it, okay? En su pantalla le sale un lapicito que dice anotar y lo pueden utilizar para ayudarme a marcarlas en la pantalla, okay? Yeah. Yes, you can go. ¿Dónde? Go ahead. ¿Dónde está el lapicito? ¿Dónde? En, el, en las herramientas de Zoom. Le sale un lapicito que dice anotar. Ajá, hay un no, lápiz. Si está en su celular, hay un lápiz a un rinconcito y dice colaborar. En la computadora. En la computadora está en la barra de Zoom. En la barra de Zoom donde está uso compartido, pausas, está un lapicito que dice anotar. Si no, dele clic donde dice más y ahí le tiene que salir anotar. No me sale más. Really? Bueno, a mí me sale así, miren, se lo voy a mostrar. En la reacción no estará, ¿no? No, 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 no. Está no. en la barra. En la barra. Ahí dice. Anotar. Ahí se los mandé al chat. Ok. ¿Cómo me sale a mí? Ah, pero miren todo, ¿eh? They are marking them. Very good. Mm. What is this one? This is trampa. Backpack, very good. Clothes, cell phone, board. Good. They, yeah. It was very difficult, teacher, they say. And they found all of them. Where is the teacher? Where is the teacher? I want to see the teacher. Who found teacher? ¿Quién encontró teacher? A ver. Who has teacher? Yo lo encontré, pero no, no sé cómo dibujar. Where is it, Wendy? Cómo subrayarlas. Ah, you found it. Ya se lo marcaron. Ahí mire. Teacher, very good. So there you have it. Very good. What do you have here? Eh, famo, 
Okay. I don't know what did you mark there. Me, con, me quedé con ganas de rayar porque no encontré. <laughs> Yo ya lo encontré por fin después de todo. <laughs> it's right there, right? You have it. Yo también lo encontré yo también. <laughs> okay. Está la lista mal. <laughs> Okay, salary, very good. Aquí estoy llenando todos sus vacíos del kinder, miren, todo lo que dice <laughs> So, very good job, very good job. So, there you have it. All of the words that you have here, for example, in the case of backpack, box, cell phone, coffee, let me see, door, headphones. Where is headphones? Headphones. Did you find headphones? Headphones. Where is it? What do you say in Spanish? Headphones is this. It's what I have right here. These are the headphones. The headphones, the ones that I have. Me so different. Headphones. Headphones. Cuero. Cuero, no. You have cuero here. <laughs> headphones is right here, right? Headphones. No me digo headphones. So there you have it. <clears throat> Wendy, encontró con qué escribir. Very good. Dicho, no se vale, yo quería escribir. Edwin, pero Edwin, qué raro que no le salga. Y se fue a los tres puntos donde dice más, tres puntos. Sí, habla par de configuración. No, 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 es que, es que... Está al lado de arriba. No, está Aquí, en la barrita, en la barra negra. Con las opciones de vista tocada. En iObox. Ajá, no, en, en, la, en las configuraciones de Zoom, no, es en la barrita dice, que sale. Opciones de vista, dice, opciones de vista. ¿Dónde está su y micrófono ahí... y su Grande. cámara? No, box. No, ¿Dónde box. está su micrófono y su cámara? Ahí en esa misma barrita. No. So, no. <laughs> poor Edwin, he wanted to do it. Milk, scissors, sugar, books, cat, clothes, desk. Hair, machines, salary, streets, television. I think you have all of them. Board, bus, chair, computer, factory, light. ¿Qué está haciendo? My God. Money, sewing, and teacher, right? There you have all the ones, right? All the ones. Edwin, did you find it? ¿Lo encontraste, Edwin? No, no lo puedo encontrar, teacher. No sé cómo okay. se hace esto hola, aquí. Okay. La tecnología me abruma ahorita. We are going to, we are going to, uh, to go down here. Thank you to all the ones who made the drawings, okay? Stop drawing. And here is, for sure, I was going to show you the answers, right? There you have the clean answers of this, okay? So there you have it, right? You have box, you have television, you have money, bus, computer, right? Here you have uh, streets. And here you have sewing, right? Here you have all the different words that were on the puzzle. It is good for you to exercise your brain and you learn new vocabulary. What do all these vocabulary have in common, people? All of these are nouns. All of these are nouns. And they can be plural or singular, depending on the context that you are talking about. As you can see here, for example, in the word backpack, you can make it plural. And you can say backpacks. You can say boxes. boxes. You can say cell phones. But can you say coffees? No. Coffee, coffee. is uncountable. Coffee is uncountable. Es un, es, un, es un nombre incontable. ¿Por qué? Porque lo podemos comprar en libras, en bolsas, en todo, en tazas, en líquido. But you cannot say coffees. Porque no compra un granito de café. Right? So this is uncountable. Doors. 
it can be plurals, headphones, milk. Can you say milks? Uncountable. It's uncountable, right? Because you cannot count the milk. Cuando se sirve el cereal, no le dice, poneme solo un leche, por favor. There you go, right? No, you don't do that, right? It's uncountable. You say, a, a glass of milk, a, a, a whole bunch of milk, right? <laughs> you cannot say una libra de leche. Well, yes, in polvo. Scissors, right? It's plural. Sugar. Can you say sugars? It's countable. No. It's countable. <laughs> Eso I no. No, sugar that is no. <laughs> no puede pedir un grano de azúcar. You cannot say only one sugar. Give me only one sugar, please, on my coffee. There you go. No, it's not possible, right? Sugar that is, is another thing. And mm -hmm. that can be plural. <laughs> but this one, no. Books, yes. Cats, yes. Clothes, it's already plural. Esta ya es plural de por sí, right? Clothes. Desk, you can say desks. Hair, right here. It's it's uh, kind of uncountable as well because you don't say it's only one hair, a lot of hairs, right? Hair. Machines, yes. Salary, it's not a, in this case, right? You say salaries. If you are talking, right, that can be plural, a street, televisions, boards, buses, right, buses, chairs, computers, factories, yes, it can be plural, I, E, S, factories, lights, money, when you can count it, you can count the coins and the bills, but money is uncountable. Suing, it's a verb, and teacher is content, right? You can make it plural. So that is something that I wanted to emphasize with this, right? Más allá de todo, los quería que reconocieran los nombres. Más allá de, de ponerlos a jugar un ratito ahí con su cerebro. I wanted to recognize the names, right? And here you have it. The countable nouns. Dennis, can you help me to read it? Television? No, no, no. This one. Countable nouns. Nouns can be singular or plural or the part of four. Yeah, all the pattern. Oh. We use you we use how many to ask about the quantity of something countable. Some table, some sandwich, some children, so Littles, littles, some kilos. Be careful because be careful. people is always plural in English. In Spanish, it has to mean it. Personas, countable plural, and gente, uncountable singular. So now you have it. In Spanish, personas es contable. Gente es incontable. So you have to be very careful with that, even in Spanish, right? So countable nouns can be singular or plural. You can make them plural. You can count. You can say one apple, two apples, three apples, right? But in the case of milk, you, you cannot say one milk, two milks, three milks. It's not possible. So examples of countable nouns. I have some here. And Diego, can you help me to read the first line? Uh, then, okay, yes, the first line, then is the second one. Luis Parrilla, yeah, the perdón. third one. Perdón, perdón. Ah, okay, good, 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 good. Yes. Uh, de arriba, de arriba. Donde dijo litros, son litros, suena similar a pequeño. No, litros are litros. Litros. The other one is little. Mm -hmm. Yes. This is litters. Litters. With the three, three, three is litters. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Let's go back here. Diego, the first line, please. Uh, plural. You can, no, read it. Read it. Only. Um, top, box, mirror, hole. Yard. Um, yard. After your name, your year, year, right? Your. All these ones can be plural. 
and you say cups, boxes, mirrors, pools, yards, actors, journeys, and years. They can be plural. Thank you, Diego. Luis Parrilla, the second. No, el tercero, yo. Ah, okay. Who was the next one? Ronald, yeah. right? Yeah. Mr. Ronald? Yo iba después de Luis. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead, Ronald. Cambiamos. ¿Cuál es? The second line. <clears throat> Four, beer, mistake, corner, burger, issue, 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 castle, second. A castle, castle. Mm -hmm. Castle. Issue, issue. <laughs> there is a very <laughs> famous meme of a little dog. Hay un perrito así que dice, ¿qué te pasa? Unos issues. Issue. <laughs> <laughs> so those are, that's the meaning of issue. Issue is like situations that are uh, like struggling with you, right? It's like problemas, issues. So <clears throat> fork, fork is the one that you used to eat, right? The fork. Yum, 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 yum. Tenedor. A mistake, burger, castle, second. Mr. Luis, the next line. Spoon, fire, toilet, toilet, car, toilet, car. kilometer, kilometer, machine, or some. Hour. Hour. Some. Some. Wendy Beatriz, the next one. Play, after. Toothbrush, land, mill, mill, later, finger, monks. Okay, answer. Answer. Yeah. Toothbrush. Toothbrush. Toothbrush is the one that you use to brush your teeth. The toothbrush. Lawn. The lawn. The lawn is la grama. The lawn. Mile, liter. Finger, month. Carla Patricia, the next one. Strong, eight, shower, city, father, room, boy, group. Okay, egg. 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 Lo que comemos en la cena, right? Egg. And the last one is going to be for Mr. Mauricio. Edwin Mauricio, the last one. Okay. Uh, town, first, tower, egg, field, station, book, hall. Hall, oh, very good. So all these ones, as you can see, all these ones are countable nouns because you can make them plural or you can count them. But what about the next ones, the ones that are uncountable? And in this case, Johnny's, can you help me to read? Incountable nouns are always singular. You can use some before an incountable noun, but not a number. One word, two pollutions. We use how much to ask about the amount of something incountable. Some food, some water. Some milk, some sugar, some solution, some information, some love. Exactly. Be careful. Money, money is in, in, incountable. You can you can count dollars, pounds, euros, coin, or back ton, back banknotes, but not money. Okay. You can count everything. You can count the dollars, the euros, whatever. You can count the coins, but you cannot count money right you cannot take one money two money three monies okay so that's important two key things that we have seen we can use some with both of them right you can say some bananas some oranges some milk right because it refers to un poco de or algunas right some and you can use it with uncountable nouns as well so you can say some advice, some assistance, some beauty, some beef. Beef is carne de res, right? Some fame, some 
fuel, some fun, some furniture, some fruit, because that's uncountable, right? Some pasta, uh, some rice, some salt, you can use it with uncountable nouns. Other things that are uncountable, the bread, the bread, the complete bread, it's uncountable, right? You can have a piece of bread, right? Butter, the cake, it's uncountable. Failure, faith, uh, gasoline, it's uncountable. Jewelry, knowledge, el conocimiento es incontable. Louder, la risa, the love, the luggage, the machinery, money, meat, milk, it's uncountable. The rain, research, las investigaciones, they are un un uncountable. The satisfaction is uncountable. Seafood is uncountable as well. You can say the fish, the shrimp, and everything individual, but seafood in general, todos los mariscos son incontables. Space, shopping, time, transportation, travel, thunders, thunders, que son los truenos. The traffic is uncountable. Hitting El Salvador is infinity. <laughs> Understanding the warmth, the water, and the wealth. Las riquezas también son incontables. And some extra examples that I can mention here. The cash. The chaos is uncountable. Si tiene más de dos niños, el caos sí es incontable. Clothing, confidence, content, cotton, el algodón, right? The grief, el dolor, la pena. Gold, guilt, la pena. Golf, uh, harm, happiness, the motivation, la mostaza, mustard, nature, news, paper, perfume, it's uncountable, silence, soup, spaghetti, it's uncountable and infinitive, the sugar, silver, la plata, the smoke, el humo, the weather, the wisdom, the wood, la madera, el trabajo, <laughs> it's uncountable and infinitive, the yoga and the youth, right? El trabajo es infinito también, además de incontable. Youth es la juventud. La juventud es incontable y eterna. So, important things. Important things. You use how much. How much for uncountables. And you use how many for countables. You can say, how many apples are on the table? No me van a decir how much apples are on the table. Porque how many es para los countables. How much para los uncountables. Si estamos hablando de milk, ¿qué ocupan? How much or how many? How much. How much. How much. If how we're much. talking about chocolate. How much. How much. If we are talking about money. How much. If we are talking about dogs. How many? How, many? How, many? How many? If we are talking about classes. How many? How many? How many? If we are talking about teachers. How many? How many? How many? If we are talking about love. How much? How much? How much? Love. How How much? much? Very How good. Much? So there you have. That is the difference, right? We can use some for the two cases, right? Para todos podemos ocupar some. Okay? And in the case of any, is for negatives, right? Are there any bananas? Para las preguntas también, any, right? Some is for affirmatives, any is for the negatives. How much is for the uncountables? How many is for the countables? And I am going to keep explaining here. So in the case of some, some we use it in affirmative sentences. There are some biscuits left. Todavía quedan algunos pastelillos, right? There are some biscuits left. Some with plural. You can use it. In questions where the answer yes is expected. If you want the answer yes to the question, you can use some. Could I have some attention, please? It's like, ¿me podrían poner atención? Yes, teacher, for sure. Right? And there you have. Let me see. Oh, before anything else happens. Quiero ver, antes de que nada más suceda, solo quiero revisar una cosa. No, no se ha conectado nadie nuevo, ¿eh? Después de la asistencia. No. Okay. Let's continue. 
in offers or requests, would you like some wine? Te gustaría un poco de vino? Would you like some wine? You use some in this case. Yes, teacher, please. Any. You use it what? In negative sentences. Right? There isn't any cheese left. Usted había guardado su quesito duro blando en la refri y ya no está. There isn't any cheese left porque su mamá lo lleva en una tortilla. There isn't any cheese left. Huh? In the tortilla, isn't it? No more cheese. With negative words, such as hardly, barely, scarcely, or never. There is hardly any cheese. Almost no cheese. There is hardly any ice cream. It's like, apenas me dejaron sorbete, solo la raspadura. Yeah, and they put it back in the refrigerator, right? No les ha pasado que ven el, el botecito de Sarita y se dice, me dejaron sorbete. Y son los frijoles los que están ahí. Son los frijoles. No quería decir los frijoles, pero ya, son los frijoles. In questions when the answer is yes or no. Have you got any money? Have you got any money? Ayer fue 31. Have you got any money? No, teacher. Yes, you say. Yes, yes. Chiching. Right. Some and any both mean the same thing. A certain number or a certain amount. That is the meaning of that. But this is generalities. I am going to put it on exercises for you to analyze and understand. Right? Here we have much and many. In which cases ocupamos much? Uncountable. Uncountable. Many, many for? Uncountable. Uncountable. Okay. We are going to classify it like that. So let's go here. What are we talking about in the first one? ¿De qué estamos hablando en la primera oración? Soda. We are talking about soda. We are talking about soda. Is it singular or uh, is it uh, countable or uncountable? Countable. Contable. 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 Contable or uncountable? No. Depends. Contable. Can you say how many si soda? Habla de latas, si many. habla de latas es contable, pero si habla Ajá. de Ajá, estamos hablando general. de la soda. El líquido. Se generaliza soda. Contable. How much? Contable. Ah, because no. if not, si no tendría que decir how many, y aquí abajo tendría que decir cans, of soda. Ya se lo puedo poner en otro color para que lo vean. How many? Okay. How many cans of soda do you drink every day? How many cans of soda? ¿Cuántas latas te tomas? Okay, in that case, that is how many. But in this case, we're talking about only about the soda. So you say how? How, how much? much soda do you drink every week? ¿Cuántas soda te tomas? Como cinco litros, o seis litros, no sé. How much soda do you drink every week? Uh -huh. One. I don't drink soda. I don't drink soda, you say. Only one. I don't, I don't like soda. Ush. Only with vodka. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Solo para no tomar, <laughs> Okay. Ponga, póngale soda a mi vodka. <laughs> so, uh, how much? How much soda? Two cubes what, of ice. In, in two cubes of ice. Oh my God. Fuertes declaraciones. Eggs. Is it countable or uncountable? Countable. 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 So you say how many? How many? How many, how many eggs do you need to make an omelette? An omelette. Almost. The next one. How, how, how much? How much? How much, how much, how much, how much milk? How Very much. good because it's uncountable. The next one. How much? How much? How much, how much how oil? Much. Very good. How much? How much? How much? How much? How much? Rice. How much? 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 Very good. How many? How many? How many? How many? How many cookies? The next one. How many? How many? Mangoes. Are there in the basket. 
Tenés hasta Me cinco. Oh. Tenés hasta cinco, Juan Tren. Tenés hasta cinco, ya conté cuatro. The next one. Hasta, hasta a mí me dio bien. Hasta yo. How, 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 how much? How many? How much? How much? Cereal. How much? Más. Sí, porque okay. está preguntando cuánto. Ajá, el cereal. Cuando usted abre la cajita de, de el cereal del gallito, porque no nos pagan por ese comercial. How, how much do you get? So like, what, only four, only four uh, little pieces. No, right? You say a whole bunch, like, psh, a lot in the, in the little oh. bowl, right? Hold the bag, right? How much? Much. How my, much? My mother says, echale la leche a la bolsa, <laughs> Si quieres te lo acabas todo. Ahí <risa> dice para 20 servidas, pero no de la suya. How much cereal? Because cereal is uncountable. Because you buy the box of cereal or the bag of cereal. Compran la bolsa o la caja. But you say how much cereal? And the sugar? How much? How much sugar? Right? How much sugar? What about this one? Remember that any is for negatives and for questions. Some is for affirmatives. What about the first sentence? Ronald Ulysses, help me with number one. I want to pour. Pour significa vertir, right? I want to pour. Some milk on my cereal. Exactly like that. I want to pour some milk yeah. on my cereal right i'm going to make it red mm. i want to pour some milk on my cereal quiero vertir o quiero ponerle un poco de leche a mi cereal what about number two mr walter <coughs> Dígame. Uh, Any. we don't need yeah. we don't need any any floor to make to make salad we don't need any floor to make salad what is the meaning of floor arena arena right we don't need any floor we have a negative and for negatives we use any and also for questions what about number 13 janita are there any eggs in the fridge? Fry. Are there any eggs in the fridge? In the fridge. fridge. The fridge mm -hmm. is the refrigerator, right? The refrigerator is the fridge. Are there any eggs in the fridge? Hay huevos en el refri? In El Salvador? Yes, all the time. Number 14, Mr. Uh, Janis. Help me. There aren't any orange on the table. There aren't any oranges on the table, right? There oranges. aren't any oranges on the, on the table. Diego Jose, the next one. <coughs> we need um, some cheese to make pizza. We need some cheese to make pizza, right? Affirmative sentence, some. And some can be with countables and uncountables. What about the next one? Wendy, number 16. Is there some cereal in this cereal box? Okay, it's a question. Any is for negatives and questions. Any. Is there any cereal in the cereal box? Number 17. Mr. Christian. There is um, there is um, some egg left in the fridge. Okay. There isn't some eggs left in the fridge. The a, fridge. This is a negative. ¿Qué ocupamos con los negatives? Any. Any, any right? Any is right. for negatives and questions. Si no diríamos, no hay algunos huevos en la refri. And it's not, it's not correct. Number 18, 
Carla Patricia. You need to buy some vegetables. You need to buy some vegetables. Vegetable. Vegetables. Vegetable. The next one, Mr. Edwin, number 19. Edwin, ¿qué? Gallego. O... Edwin Ernesto. A, a mi otro amigo le digo Mauricio. Ok. ¿Cuál es? Diecinueve. There are some potatoes in the basket. There are some potatoes in the basket. Very good. And Mauricio, go ahead. There isn't any salt in this soup. There isn't any salt in this soup, right? There isn't any salt. No le puso ni amor ni sal. There isn't any salt in this soup. Good, very good job. So let's keep it in mind. Any is for negatives and questions and some is for affirmative forms. It is the, the best way to use it. How much uncountables, how many countables. We're going to go over this little exercise that we have here, okay? I have a little paragraph and I have five questions, okay? I have a little paragraph and I have five questions. What we are going to do is that I'm going to take you back to your groups. Lo voy a enviar a su grupo de regreso y lo van a completar juntos, okay? So, saque el nuevo screenshot. No sé dónde le saco, pero saque el screenshot, yay. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? I will do it. Ya me sacaron con los ojos cerrados. Así los mando yo mejor, más bonito. <laughs> you need to read the paragraph and you need to answer the questions. Read the paragraph and answer the questions, okay? Read the paragraph. According to the paragraph, you are going to answer the questions. And it says, I like where I live. There are a lot of parks and restaurants and we don't get much rain. There aren't many carts and a lot of people walk. There aren't many children in my school, but we don't get much homework. So we have lots of time to play after school. You are going to read the paragraph and read the questions, uh, the sentences, and tell me if they are true or false. Okay, I send it to the group and I will send you back to your groups. Lo voy a mandar de regreso a sus grupos, a los mismos grupos donde estaban. And I will give you a little bit more time for this one. Para esta le voy a dar siete minutos. Okay. And then let's go back here. Yeah, with the same groups. No, vamos a hacer los grupos más chiquitos. Okay. There you go. Action. Accept my invitation to go to the groups. It's on the WhatsApp, the picture. Okay. <clears throat> so I will give them a couple of minutes to set up and then I am going to go and help them. Okay, let's go to the groups. People want. 
Thank you so much. Can you help me? Yes. Go ahead. <laughs> Teacher, ¿verdad que solo vamos a escribir si la respuesta es verdadera o falsa o vamos a escribir la oración completa? No, no, no. Only if it's true or false. It's okay. Yes. Ya terminamos entonces. Okay. Thank you, Valor. <laughs> if, if you want to make the correct sentence, then you can do it. But I mean, it's just only true or false. Yo diciendo que terminamos y quiero más tiempo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I can see that. <laughs> okay, I will see if the other ones are already finished, okay? Yeah. Sí, se, mm -hmm. se, puede ser falso, por, según lo que dice la conversación de ella. Ajá. Es falso, sí, es falso. Pero la segunda dice que no hay, está en negativo. Ajá, está en negativo, pero en la conversación pero, pero, dice que, que sí hay. Que sí hay, entonces es falso. Sí, es, es falso. falso. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> Continue fighting, don't worry. Continue. Ah, ¿Dónde? Donde dice a lot of park and restaurant. Ahí dice que hay muchos parques y restaurantes. Espérame, quiero ver el chat en el de Rod. Ah, dice, there are, ah, dice que hay muchos parques y restaurantes. Ah, hay muchos parques Entonces, y restaurantes. Pero en la que... letra B. En la, en la letra dice there are in money restaurant. There are in, no hay muchos ahí no hay restaurantes. Ahí no hay muchos restaurantes. No hay muchos ah, restaurantes. En la pregunta dice eso que es, es falso es porque si sí hay. Ajá, es falso. Es falso, es falso porque si sí hay. I, I love to listen to the discussions on these very simple exercises. They are very nice, right? El ejercicio se ve bien sencillo. But I love to sí. listen to the, to the students. Fighting. It's like, no, because of this and this and this. And it <laughs> says there. I, I love this. That was very beautiful. Continue. <laughs> I am back. Okay, I will go to another room. Yo aquí ya, ya, ya estuve. <laughs> I will. Yes. 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 No, 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 no. You have to discuss it. Aquí solo lo van a discutir y cuando volvamos, vamos a comparar respuestas. Ah, ok. Yes. Oh. Did you finish? Finished, sir. Ok, let's go back then. Hello. No, muy poquito tiempo. Qué rápido pasa. <risa> Ese es falso, la de abajo. Es falsa, la de abajo sí es falsa. Es falsa. Okay. <laughs> Good. Sí, es falsa. Yeah. Ok, ok. Let's, let's continue, right? Let's continue here. Uh... <laughs> si vieran lo que pasa aquí, tras bambalina. <laughs> este grupo es lo que me tocó. No, 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 not at all. It, it, I, I love the group. It is very beautiful, right? <laughs> it is very beautiful. I love how you discuss because you are analytical and that's fantastic. It is not like, I see si falso verdadero, si como sea. No, right? You are analytical and you say, because of this and this. No, look, read. It's like that. And so I, I like when you are very analytical and when you discuss and everything. 
that's I, I, it makes me really happy definitely me motiva a, a seguirles poniendo cosas que los reten <laughs> She likes her town, for sure she likes. Let's see. And I am going to get one volunteer. The last person to stand up is going to read the paragraph. Vamos a ver, el último que se pare. Déjame mi voluntario. Let's see who's going to be the last one. Who's going to be the last one? El último, el último que se pare. Hey, who was the last one? Carlita. Norma. Norma wants to be the volunteer. No, Wendy. Wendy fue la última que se paró. No, no me paré. Ah, so she, she is the one. Haciendo yoga con la teacher. Exercising, yay. Eso solo empieza. Espérense lo que les tengo guardado. Wendy Beatriz. Wendy Beatriz. Can you help me to read the paragraph? Me ayudas a leer el párrafo. Okay. I like where I live. There are a lot of parks and restaurants and we don't get much rain. 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 There are many cars and a lot of people. Once there aren't many children in my school, but we don't don't get much homework, so we had lots of time to play at the school. Okay, pronunciation help. ¿Qué tenemos que mejorar en pronunciación? A ver, ayúdenme. Homework. Homework. <laughs> homework. Uh, a lot of, right? A lot of. After. After school, right? After school. Oh. Much rain, right? Rain. Much hey, rain. we are from the November rain generation, people. Come on. Si todos ustedes han escuchado November rain, no me vengan con rain. Rain. <laughs> yes, I love her up. Yeah, for yes, sure. Yes, I love it. Yes, I love it. I love that song. Yeah. I, I like where I live. I like where I live. There are a lot of parks and restaurants and we don't get much rain, right? And we don't get much rain. It's like, no llueve, no llueve tanto, right? There aren't many cars. There aren't many cars. And a lot of people walk. There aren't many children in my school, but we don't get much homework. So we have lots of time to play after school. What a beautiful town. So tell me, she likes her town, yes or no? Yes. yes. And yes. here comes the second part. Why? How do you know? ¿Cómo saben ustedes que le gusta? You say she, I like where I live. Dice que ella le gusta donde, le, donde ella vive. She says, she, she says, says, I like I, where I live. Good. I like there aren't many restaurants, yes or no? No, no. False. 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 Why? Because they call there, are there, are there, are there are a lot of restaurants. There are a lot of parks and restaurants. Very good. There aren't many cars. True. 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 How do you know? It's true. Why do you say? There are many cars. There are many cars. There are many cars. A lot of people. There are many cars and a lot of people walk, right? Oh, and a lot of people yeah. work. There are lots of children in her school. Oh. Why? Oh. Why? Why? There are many children. There aren't many children in my school. There aren't many. There aren't many children in my school, right? And she gets a lot of homework. False. False. So we say we don't get. We don't get much homework. So this one is false, and this one is false as well. So. 
And that's good, right? Whenever you have an exercise like that, siempre que tengan un ejercicio de revisar si es sí o no, siempre pregúntense, ¿por qué? ¿Cómo? ¿Dónde dice? Right? And it's going to be easier for you to analyze it, okay? Very nice job, the one that you did. So this is individual, okay? Ese es individual. So please work on this on your notebook. Pueden ponerlo de la A a la H en su cuaderno y poner la respuesta o copiar toda la oración. Go ahead. This is individual. ¿Cuánto tiempo no puedo? I am going to give you four minutes. Four minutes. Y se lo puedo poner aquí. Mm. Es más. Que se noten esas mil líneas que hice. Ya, yeah, esos cinco mil que me dejaron. Mm -hmm. ¿Terminaron las de ayer? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, Sorry. Oh, Let's continue. Oh, Let's work. There you have the timer. No sé dónde le sale a ustedes, pero a mí me sale aquí. Oh my camera. Go ahead. You have four minutes, 39 seconds. There you go. When you finish, you can raise your hand on the platform so I know that you finish. Pueden levantar su manita en la plataforma para saber que ya terminó. Edwin finished, who else finished? We are missing one minute. Raise your hand on the platform when you finish, please. Finish. 
Okay. Finish teacher. Okay. Excellent. So we're going to work. We just okay, Mr. Edwin, can you help me with the first one? Said there, there is how much information? There isn't. There isn't much. There isn't how much information? Okay, in in this case, solo tenemos dos opciones: solo much or many. Okay, much. how how much es cuando está al principio de la pregunta. In this case, you say there isn't much information. No hay mucha información. There isn't much information, right? Okay, the time is over. Give me just a second. Deme un segundo. Solo voy a cerrar mi timer. Okay, there isn't much information. Number two, Norma. There weren't many people at park. There weren't many people at the park, right? Because people in this case is plural, right? You have many. Number three, Christian Rodriguez. See, um, he he has he hasn't got many money. Okay, money. Uncountable. Money. Incredible. Much. Que con money. Much, right? Money. Much money. He hasn't got much money. No ha adquirido mucho dinero. Letter D. Jorge. Do you get many homework? Homework. homework. It's uncountable. Por aquí teníamos. El ejemplo. Entonces, eh? much. much homework, right? How English books? Let's see, Walter Enrique. Uh, how many English books have you got? How many English books have you got, right? How many English books have you got? The next one, letter F, Ronald. They haven't got much ideas for the project. Ideas, ideas. Yeah, ideas. Countable, one idea, two ideas, three ideas, many ideas. Many. Many, right, many. Letter G, it's going to be for Luis Parrilla. Water. How, much, how much water do you drink every day? Very good. How much water do you drink every day? And the last one, it's for Janita. How, children. How many children are there in your class? How many children are there in your class, right? This is information is uncountable. People is countable. Money is uncountable. Homework is uncountable. English books is countable. Ideas is countable. Water, uncountable. And children, countable. Okay, so we're going to go here to the uh, conversation. But before going to the conversation, I am going to go here. I have here four different questions, right? Four different expressions about money. What is the first one? How much do you pay? How much do they pay? How, How much, much do they pay? pay? In which moments do you ask this question? Cuando viene un amigo y le dice, hey, anda a trabajar allá donde yo trabajo. The first question you are going to make is, How much, much do they pay? Do they pay? Cuánto pagan? Right? How much do they pay? That's the first question that you make in any job, right? How much do they charge? 
how much do they charge? That is the opposite, right? Imagine if you want uh, someone to paint your house and they say, hey, I have two people who paint houses. How much do they charge? Yo tengo dos tíos que pintan casas. And you say like, how much do they charge? Cuánto cobran? Oh. Cuánto cobran, right? How much is it? How much is it? Imagine that you go to, to this very famous place, right? <laughs> that you go to this very famous place and you say, I want six pieces of chicken. How much is it? What is the meaning of this one? ¿Qué significa este entonces? How much is it? ¿Cuánto? ¿Cuánto es? ¿Cuánto, cuánto, es? Vale, cuánto, ¿Cuánto vale? In this very famous place. <laughs> I think you can read it, right? The no. Campero Chique. How much, how much do you earn every month? Or how much do you earn monthly? Yeah. How much do you make? ¿Cuánto? ¿Cuánto ganas mensualmente? Exactly like that. How oh, much yeah. do you earn every month or monthly? Exactly like that. So, to answer this, para tener esa respuesta, ¿qué pregunta me tendrían que haber hecho? How much? How much? Is it? How much? How much is it? Okay, you can say how much is it? Or what is the other one? I think it's just that one, right? How much is it? Right? How much is how much, it? How much, how much do you earn monthly? <laughs> how much do you earn monthly? I make 545 monthly. How much do you earn monthly? The next one, they take $23 per item. How much do they charge? How much, How much they do charge? they charge? And the last one, and it says the company pays $690 with bonuses. How much do they pay? How much do they pay? How much, How much do they pay? Do they pay, right? I am not going to ask you the question, right? Because that is not, not okay. In English and in many conversations, formal conversations, it is not correct to ask for payments, religion, politics, and uh, beliefs. In cualquier conversación formal in English, no se habla ni de pagos, ni de religión, ni de política, ni de, what else? What was the other one? Religion, politics, sports, right? It is very complicated because if you talk about that, it can be controversial. So it is called uh, like the, the, the policies. You don't talk about that, right? No llegas a conocer a alguien nuevo y dices, how much do you make every month? How much money do you make every month? No, you don't ask those questions. So it is just for the example, okay? If you want to buy, for example, uh, tortillas in El Salvador, how many do you get for $1? How many tortillas do you get for $1? Uh -huh. Seven. Uh, five, five, five tortillas for one dollar. Sixteen. Sixteen. Sixteen tortillas for one dollar. Ten cents. Oh, I, I need to go and buy tortillas there. Man. Wow. Voy a comprar allá por su casa porque <laughs> they are very cheap. If you want to buy, if you want to buy a watermelon, how much is it? <laughs> If you want to buy a watermelon, una sandía, how much is it? Three dollars. Three dollars. Five dollars. Oh my God. Five dollars. Two. Two dollars. My God. Two dollars. I, I, dollar. I need two to go. I need to go and buy things different, there. Different price. Two, different two prices. Two, I can see. 
So three. when when you express when you express the cost of something, so you say, for example, in this one, you say it is two ninety nine. It's two ninety nine, or you can you can say, for example, it's two dollars. It's two dollars eighty cents, right? And you can express it like that. Así lo pueden expresar también. It's two dollars eighty cents, or you say it's two dollars eighty, right? So you can use it in both ways, right? It's two dollars eighty cents, or two ninety nine or two eighty. If you have close numbers, for example, this one, you say the hundreds first. So the hundreds are the ones that you express first. So you say 545, 545. Okay, cuando tenemos cantidades con eh, 100, right? 200, 300, 400, 500. If you have, for example, bigger numbers like this ones, right? This is 1,000, 1,000, right? You have 1,000. Si la cantidad fuera, this one, how would you read it? ¿Cómo leerían esta cantidad que está aquí abajo del cerebrito? So you say 2,346. 2,346. What about this one? How would you read this one? 7,894. Exactly, 7,894. What about this one? 675. What about this one? 300. No. Three forty-five. Three forty-five. Three forty-five. And if it is about money, for sure, you are going to have the symbol, and you are going to have, for example, like this: eight dollars fifty-six or eight fifty-six. Okay, so you can have the different types of amounts there. And here I am going to assign this one for you to check it on the manual, right? Esta la pueden encontrar en el manual. If you go to the manual, eh, the conversation is right here. Está en la página 14. Okay, so please, I need you to check it for tomorrow. I need you to check this conversation on page 14 for tomorrow because we are going to use it. It is a practice for how much and how many. Okay, it's in the page 14 of manual. So please try to complete it for tomorrow. And also try to complete all the section one and the beginning of section two for the platform. Okay, mañana revisamos plataforma. Así que porfa, eh, vamos a ver cómo vamos. Traten de terminar toda la sección uno para mañana porque la vamos a revisar. Okay. Have a wonderful night, my dear class, and I'm going to see you tomorrow for your next session. Good night. Have good a tomorrow. good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Thank you very much. Good Thank you for your participation. Bye bye. Gracias bye, bye. por su energía. Bye bye. Take care. See you, my dear students. See you tomorrow. And